sometimes there's parts that are highly critical. They could be going to outer space, they could be going underwater, they can just be going at a very high RPM, and they don't want any variation. Our job is to use that blueprint and make exactly what the engineer requires. Every dimension, every note has to be exactly what the engineer is asking. And using GD&T is the way they describe that. My name is Dean Theodos. I'm the president of GT Machine and Tool. We're a third generation machine shop. And for the most part, we're making smaller parts that are gonna go into a larger assembly. When we're given the blueprint from our customer, what we're gonna see is dimensions and holes and surfaces that we need to machine. The way the engineers will describe what they're looking for is by using gd &T, geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. Using these symbols, they're explaining exactly how they expect the parts to be in relationship with each other. Not just the size of them, but if they need to be on the same center line or they need to be on the same flatness. These symbols are a way that engineers communicate with us exactly what they're looking for. This is one part that uses gd &T. There's different holes in this part, and on the back side, quite a few holes. And we can see this is actually a, a small assembly where these parts have to fit together and get screwed into each other. Looking at the blueprint, we have four times, meaning four holes, the diameter sign, and we see the size of the hole, which is 0 0.063. The diameter is 0 0.063, and 0.014 is the tolerance. So by giving a tolerance, and using GD and T for positioning, they're ensuring that their mating part would have a tolerance less than the 14 thousandths given on this drawing. As long as our hole-to-hole -hole relationship is within the geometric tolerance, the parts will work. The final assembly in this part will be part of a motor that will go in the Mars rover as part of a satellite system. Here we have another part that is showing the same bolt circle pattern. And the engineer doesn't really care exactly where these holes are located, but he needs them to fit on his mating part. So the way he solves it is by drawing only one arrow next to one hole and telling the machinist that these holes need to be 0.29 in diameter with a 0.59 countersink, and they need to be on a 2.312 diameter bolt circle meaning that if you made a circle connecting the center point of these six circles, it would measure two inches and five sixteenths, 2.312. Now for test purposes, we made a part that the true position is out of tolerance. So we have our five holes assembled and we see the six hole does not line up. And we try to put a screw in it, we can see there's interference and the screw will not accept. So we can see just by moving one hole out of tolerance, throwing off the position, our assembly would not work. To better understand the tolerance and the precision we're dealing with, think of a piece of your hair. Thickness of your hair is 0 0.003 or 3 thousandths thick. So when we're talking about tolerance, 0 0.014 is about four pieces of your hair put together. Here's another one, 0 0.0003 tenths of an inch. That would almost be dividing your piece of hair by 10. So those are the kind of precision tolerances we're dealing with. Sometimes you can make things from outer space that are pretty interesting, and sometimes you're making a, a foot for a broken table. But as far as the exact end use, we usually do not know because it's proprietary information and you move on.